Hi all, welcome back to Coding World. Today in this video, we are going to see one more system design related concept, which is a chart system. Uh, in this video, I will explain from high level to low level designing of the chart system for which we use for a Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, WeChat and other chatting services like a Slack, Microsoft team also. So these for this chat, chat application, how we proceed and which are the component we use while designing this system. I will explain this by step by step. This video will be a lengthy video. So I request you guys to watch till end and get your knowledge enhanced by seeing this video. Yeah, so Before starting your system design, I always go with this approach. I always ask whatever question come, comes in my mind. So I will get clear idea what I'm going to design. So this application we are supporting for WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, WeChat, Line, Hangout and Discord. Discord is a game chatting application. So for this type of application, we are going to design our chat app system. So you have to be a full understanding what types of this application, what type of users will be there and all the scenarios you have to consider in your mind. So as we as we uh, go with our system design, I always prefer to choose like we have to design first high level design and then go for the low level design. And for high level design, you have to ask some questions to get a clear understanding of the system in your interview also you have to ask as many as questions to your interviewers to get the clear understanding of your problem so there are two types of application one is for personal chat we use wechat whatsapp facebook messenger these are the personal chat application and office chat applications such as slack and games chat like uh, discord and we use zoom also nowadays these are the chat application. So for this, we have to ask this six question I have mentioned, like uh, what kind of chat application shall we go like one-to-one -one or group best. So in this case, we are going to design a uh, both. So it should support both one-to-one -one and group chat, group chat also. So is, a, is this a mobile app or web app? It will be both. What is the scale of application, a startup or massive scale? So this you have to clear understanding. So you will allocate the system database or, or your cache also. So this is a more important concept uh, question. So what features are important for the chat application? Can it support the attachment? So in this application, we are only focusing on the text messaging and the your user status is he online or is offline so these three bas uh, basic and main important features we are discussing third one is a, is there a message size limit yeah there is no message size limit and is end to end encryption required so for this we have to use a encryption algorithm so you have to ask this question also how long shall we store the chat history so this is another example. So according to this, we can decide our archival strategy. So jump to the our high level designing. High level designing, I will consider this as a like a, there will be a sender, this there will be a receiver, and in that between there will be a, our chat service. One will send to message our chat service. Chat service will relay that message to the receiver. This is a high level designing. This is a simple. Now we will dig more and understand each concept in deeper level. So as I told, we are using the HTTP protocol, which where we will keep our header as a keep alive. This will make your authentication simple. Every time you will not require to authenticate with the chat service. So this is a important and server initiated connection like uh, now whenever you you push message to your service there will be some pooling from your server or from your receiver 
and for that we use a strategy such as a pooling long pooling and web socket so we will for our chat application we will give, go with a pooling because from sir, sender you will send message to the chat service from but from chat service someone should bring or someone should get that to the receiver so for that purpose we use pooling long pooling and web socket so for each technique we will see advantages disadvantages and in the finally we will conclude what we will use so in a polling system our client will be polled to your server sorry so it will check that is message available for that client if it is no then it will send the signal no and connection will get close then again after some interval we will hit to the your server and check the message for your client if it is no then it will return no and connection will be closed this process will repeat unless and until you get the message from the server so from this polling system you have you cannot easily understand this is a time consuming and the polling consumes more resources because you need to for checking that message is available or not you have to do some queries you have to call some services and from that in that process you are consuming your bandwidth or your resources will be used so to avoid that some people choose a long polling long polling means you will ask to the your you will call to the server and you will stay there for a few seconds for few seconds and you will collect all the message and you will return that message to the your client in one shot so in that case your connection will be alive for a some open for a some period and due to that there can be a some uh, like it will uh, it will make your client slow because you are waiting for too much for your request and if that you didn't get any message within that time frame it will be a time out and a new request will be sent back okay so there there are some disadvantage because if user does not chat much long polling sticks still makes periodic connections after time outs like uh, we get uh, we make some connections after time out yeah so there are some drawbacks of long polling which you can easily understand so i will uh, go to the, our third techno, uh, third strategy which is a web socket this is the like is is most common solution for sending a synchronous address from server to client okay so this is the main benefits of web socket that's why most of the chatting services use a web socket so in web socket http handshake will be happen between a client and server the once that handshake happens acknowledge will be sent to the client and you will initiate the web socket okay so web socket connection will be a bidirectional socket so you can send message from server to client and from client to server now we go got the idea of the polling so we will go to the our system design again so in this high level system design we will be having a two types of server stateless service and stateless server and stateful services so in our application some features are like authentication user profiles and the sign off sign on these services don't require a web socket connection because this is a one time activity and that can be a, happen with a stateless services so for that purpose we use stateless services which has a service discovery authentication server group management and user profile all these services i will explain further in detail but in your user and your services there will be a load balancer which will use for a scalability purpose and load balancing then there is a stateful services so once we done with our authentication there will be a socket open between your chat service to that server as you seen in below diagram a stateful service a server user one will be opening a web socket connection with a chat service and web server user two can be having a different 
web sockets connection with your chat service and then there is a third party third party service which is a notification service which will tell that if server is if user is down if user is offline in that case you have to send a notification you might have seen that uh, when you are offline you will get a uh, messages from the whatsapp and it will be show on your notification bar so these types of activity will happen through notification service yeah now the main bigger part is a scalability as you told as you seen that there are millions and billions people who are daily chatting on the web uh, whatsapp and the mess facebook messenger so to handle these types of load you have to be a your scalability scalability should be there so in our case we will be having a web api server and notification servers which will be a stateless server and that can be a scale uh, vertically with the help of load balancer then your real time services servers will be there in that consider a chat services and present services servers or services so present services will having a two activity which it will take that is a server is a login sorry is service is login or log out second thing it will do that is server is user is a online or offline this activity will be happen by the present server and the chat server will be a for your online support like where you are online and you are chatting with your uh, friends or in your group so that will be happen with the chat server and the key value store will be used for your message and uh, your user profile so it will be easy to or you can store a uh, user statuses like is he logged in log out is he is online offline those status will be stored in a key value store now like uh, the first is uh, like uh, what kind of database we will use storage is uh, another important uh, artifact like a, a component which we have to consider like a, two types of uh, databases are there like a, first is a generic database such as a user profile settings user friends list this data can be stored in ro robust and reliable relation databases which you can be a, a like a scale by sharding and replication techniques and the second is a unique to chat system which amount of data is enormous for a chat system and previous study reveals that facebook messenger and whatsapp process 60 billion messages per day okay this is a huge huge number and this is insane okay so key values databases there can be used and in a facebook case it use hbs okay so this is a main important part where key values will be stored this consider like a your all message will be stored in a key values so it will be a easily accessible accessible to your user or your fan so sorry yeah so you easily understand that there are http request and there are websocket request in http request we use rdms database and your web socket we use a key value databases because there there can be a fast uh, chatting should be a fast and for that purpose to enhance your speed or bandwidth bandwidth you have to use a key value databases now coming to the data models data models i will consider here only two two classes more important which is a message message can consider a message id message from message to content and created at in a group there will be a channel id which can be a group id and the message id or rest remaining part is the same as it as the message so message id generation is a unique like a main important part in a chat system your every message should be a unique id and that will be a sortable with the time if you know that a uh, you know, unique id generation it is good but if you want to enhance your knowledge or get understanding of how unique id message generate 
you can watch my video on unique id generator like snowflake is one of the important system design or third party uh, library which gives a id generation unique id generation which is developed by twitter now service discovery so user have like when user gets login it will be allocated a chat server then you all the, and the, all the chattings will, will be uh, started with a uh, with the chat server and the user with the help of web socket connection and that well known service discovery service discovery component is a zookeeper that is already open source and you can use that for a your service discovery purpose now we will focus on two important features is a one to one chat and a user group chat so when user log in with the service discovery we will, he, he will be allocated one a chat server and once that chat server will be allocated he will be start chatting with the, his friends or group whenever he creates a message then message id generated will allocate a id to the that message and that message will be put into the queue queue of the user a whoever subscribe to the user a's queue that will be a receive that message okay so when that message will be stored in the key value database so it will be easily it is easily accessible so now from that we will under we have to understand that is user is online or offline if it is online we will push that message to the chat server we will and that chat server will deliver that message to the user b if it is offline we will give that message to the notification service which will notify that user that someone has sent to message to the you okay this is a one to one chat chat flow with a simple design you can understand what exactly happens in a one to one chat now focus on message synchronization across multiple devices there can be a scenarios like where user is chatting with the dear friends from two devices one is from laptop and one is from mobile so in small chat chat flow we will be having a user one user one will is connected to the chat chat server one and when it release them or when it push the message that message will be pushed to the respective users queue so if if there is a group of three users like a user a b and c so when the user a type the message in that group that message will be put into the queue of respective group member so in this group uh, b is there and c is there so in the queue of the b's and c will be pushed that okay so we will next we will next see online presence so online presence it contains four scenario one is a, is is the user is logging is the user log out is he offline or online so those these four scenarios we will be covering this in this components okay so when let's uh, go with our first high level designing where user whenever the user gets login it will update the its status as online and the last active time time stamp in the key value store so whenever this is for the login so whenever any user checks that is the user is logged in or not he, he can query to the kv kv store key value store key value store and check the status of the user and whenever the user get logged out then we will call a api presence api api to present servers where we make the entry from login to log out so in this way we can able to understand the user has been logged out now coming to the login and coming to the log online and offline condition so in online you have to be a some mechanism which will tells that user is online so you have to be some heartbeat mechanism which will be a hitting to your back end server and understanding that the person with whom you are talking is online or offline 
so we will see that in next so user dis disconnection so this is a main uh, main features like in every chart systems to understand that user is online or offline so we introduce a heartbeat mechanism to solve this problem Periodic, periodically an online client which which means an user will send notification or send request to the server and server will check that respective recipient is online or offline so that that is called as a heartbeat event or heartbeat mechanism okay so in this a client is sending heartbeat and it will wait for 5 second if that heartbeat received that means the status is online this process will repeat again and again and listen and if you by chance get that heartbeat like uh, is not received within a that limited period in this case 5 second that means that user is or server is offline okay now online status fan out like so uh, when you are offline that means your other person should know that you are offline the person from the chat group or person from the one to one one to one chat that there should be they should be able to see you as a offline in that case we use a fan out service where whenever the user get offline it will create the message and it will put into the channel so in this channel there are three person and those three person will notify that uh, that a server a user is offline so in this case we solve this with help of a queues okay so most of the scenario we have covered and we understand that how we track the how we send the message how we generate the id and attach to the attach to the message how we use the service discovery to find out which which uh, which chat server we need to connect and how from like when the message get released from the user one that how that propagate to the end user so it will go through it it api server then it will uh, hit to the first client server of the user a and from client server or chat server you can call it a chat server from chat server let me walk you through again yeah so this is a one one to one chat flow so where a user a will release the message that message will go to the chat server and this connection is open with the help of web socket and that for that message the id will generate and that id will attach to that message then it will put to the queue of uh, if it is sent to the b it will be put into the queue message queue of the b and same message will be stored into the key value store and if that all user is online it will send that message to the chat server of user b and that chat server will push that message to the user b because there is a connection open between these two with the help of web socket so guys this is a one to one chat and this is a brief idea about the how chat work, chat system works so you can use various technology to implement this component and you will able to create your own chat system so thank you guys that's it for this video you can if you like this video this types of video you can like and subscribe my channel and if you want any new chapter on which you want videos please comment into comment box thank you